What's up, everybody? It's Tika and the Velvet Voice here with a, a look at Windows 8. It's actually the final build of Windows 8. Those of you in the public, all the rest of you not so lucky people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll be able to get this in October sometime. So um, I figured it'd be nice to, to give you just a quick look at it. I'm sure you've seen a ton of technical videos about Windows 8, but you haven't actually seen just a normal average everyday guy like myself giving you a look at it which you know I'm just gonna pretty much pay attention to uh, some basic features that normal people are gonna have to uh, know when it comes to Windows 8 because Windows 8 is such a such a huge upgrade over Windows 7 it's, it's quite uh, challenging I mean to be honest with you it's it's a uh, it's a culture shock uh, for most people I know when my mother uh, saw it she was totally floored by it she had no idea uh, but I'm just gonna go over and a few things real quick. First of all, those of you who have Windows 8 will be looking for your desktop now. When you boot Windows 8 up, it's it's a, it's a, a live tile. It's not a live tile, but it's a tile here for your desktop. And you can just go back. Yes, that's Catwoman from Batman Arkham City. She, she's pretty nice. Uh, but your desktop is available. I mean, some of the things that are missing from the desktop are the start button. But the start button is replaced by, of course, all these tiles and stuff like that. So when you get Windows 8, just remember you can go back to your desktop as easy as last so you can get your icons and you know all this other good stuff but anyway I just want to go over a couple of features um, for the normal people like myself if you're looking for your programs one of the good things about Windows 8 is they have this built-in search function and all you have to do is just continue to all you have to do is just hit the keyboard anytime when you're on these tiles and it'll start searching I type PA and some stuff like that came up for paint and all of that good stuff and uh, that I thought that was really nice and you can see all of your apps are actually replacing the start button so this is what you would do if you're looking for a lot of apps you would right click and hit all apps down at the bottom and that would bring up everything just in case you wanted to just pin some stuff to your start tile to your start home screen a list of all your programs yada 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 and the cool thing about Windows 8 is that when you're in something you can just drag it let's just go into Internet Explorer this is actually the Windows 8 version of Internet Explorer if you don't want that on your screen just you see the hand up there just grab it and flick it away and it'll um it'll get off the screen and at any point you want to go to settings just drag your mouse to any of the corners and it'll pop out this little thing on the side of it see that do 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 you can go into settings you can change a lot of stuff and uh of course Microsoft of course with this operating system they're they're big on apps you know everything is about apps these days if you have a a tablet or, or something like that you 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 know about apps and with Windows 8 you can you can install a ton of ton of apps a lot of people are, are looking forward to Microsoft Surface which is actually a tablet slash PC so you sort of get the kind of the best of both worlds but those of you who already have a PC looking to upgrade to Windows 8 you're gonna need to know about these kinds of things okay if you're not a big app person this probably won't uh, matter to you you can like I say you can get rid of that just like that but going back into the store uh, you can look for a lot of games you can look for a lot of uh, Wikipedia type stuff social you know if you're, if you're big into Twitter you can install that app onto your PC and it's kind of it's it's a culture shock like I said because you're not used to apps and stuff like that being on your PC but with Windows 8 you're definitely gonna have to get used to it and it's gonna be a shock to to some of you who are just you know used to this XP and all this other kind of versions of uh, the software so I have a couple of things installed you know of course I'm a big Xbox guy so I'm gonna go into games and check things out one of the cool things about um, Windows 8 is the Xbox smart glass right that's me you know all my friends yada 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 I think it's the interface on Windows 8 is great I mean if you have a tablet um, or a PC like mine with touch with touch control um, it's great, right? So one of the things about Windows 8 is it's touchscreen functional, right? My PC, you know, you can go ahead and you can touch. It's awesome, right? Isn't that great? So if you have a PC with touch, it's even better with Windows 8. So I'm going to show you just a thing about Xbox Smart Glass, right? I'm going to select that. And Xbox Smart Glass is, is going to allow you to use your Xbox PC tablet or whatever it is can control content on your Xbox 360 now uh, my Xbox 360 is currently on you have to have it on in order to uh, sync up and stuff like that so 
My Xbox is currently on, and if I wanted to play Gears of War, I'm sitting at my PC or whatnot. I can actually tap play on Xbox 360, and it will uh, it'll boot up. All right, so that's my Xbox over there, and this is the PC. Let's see this thing work in action. Play on the Xbox, and it is going to play on the Xbox. I would try and zoom in over there, but you know, trust me, it's going to play. And then on the PC, it goes into this huge overlay of Gears of War 3, giving you a lot of information, whether or not you have beacons, if you have friends playing. So if you're a big gamer nerd like myself with Xbox, this is definitely going to be a good addition to Windows 8. And you see, it was playing. So that's just a brief look at Xbox Smart Glass. You know, it's actually going to be available on your iPhones, iPads, Androids, whatever it is you have, you'll be able to use. So Microsoft definitely not going to try and restrict that to, you know, Windows Phone, which is, you know, which is great. Um, and that's really, you know, just a quick look at, at Windows 8 for those of you who are looking to upgrade in October. Those of you who have been on the release preview, uh, Windows 8, the, the final build is, it's a lot smoother. The graphics are, are great. The stability is, is great. It's just an overall better experience from the release preview that I did. And um, if you're willing to take that jump in October, I think that you'll be, I think you'll be pleased. You know, it doesn't get rid of your, your PC because like I say, you can go back to the desktop at any time. It just adds like a tablet overlay onto your operating system which is which is great you know you've got your messaging integration you know you've got mail integration I've got my Gmail all synced up you know you've got a ton of things that, that are here you can you can do achievements on your PC camera video Skype. I mean you, you can do just about anything and of course one of the big things about Microsoft are the live tiles and you can see some of my live tiles my people and my photos and Bing and stuff like that so uh, I'll go over a few more things with Windows 8, but as of now, I think it's looking great. You know, let's, let's check out music. You know, Xbox Music is another um, upgrade that Microsoft is doing. It's, it's no longer Zoom, it's Xbox Music. And it just looks good, man. I mean, one of the things that I love about Microsoft, they, they know how to design something that's just beautiful. I mean, this is a beautiful interface. And like I say, if you have a PC... With touch controls, it, it just gives you another experience. I mean, this thing, this operating system, in my opinion, is it's just tailor made for tablets, right? But if you also have a PC that's able to touch, you know, you can get the best of both worlds. Not only can you operate with a mouse, you can operate with your fingers. See, see my fingers. Let's launch Internet Explorer with my fingers. It's cool, huh? And when you go back to your desktop, look at that. It's an on-screen keyboard. Hello. This is Deacon, just a quick look at Windows 8.